Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental Philippines. Welcome to my channel. In, the, in this uh, tutorial video, we will learn how to write number factorials in VB.net or Microsoft Visual Basic.net. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you very much for all my subscribers to the comments, likes, a share that you have supported me in my channel if you, if you are new with my channel please click the like button in this video tutorial please leave a comment so that I will know what is your opinion or in impression of my video tutorial and then how I can improve or what is the next topic that I may discuss and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials and also click the notification bell so that you will be updated with my new video tutorial that I upload uh, in my channel so let's get started we are here in Microsoft Visual Studio Express Edition environment so when we run the program uh, it will display a form and then number factorials in bb.net give a number let's say for example we can have 8 when we click the compute button it will give us 40,320 click ok when we click the clear button it allows us to give another value let's say for example 4 click the compute the factorial is 24 click ok if we quit if we click the quit button our program prompts and asking us are you sure you want to quit if we click no it will return to our program and then it will ask again another value let's say for example 5 click compute button we can have factorial is 120 in the message box again when we click the quit button and then if we uh, press the yes button it will terminate our program so we have here a text box and then we have here three button the compute button is where the computation performs so we have here dm in f i as integer f with initial value of 1 and then we have your n equals val text box 1 dot text the val function in microsoft visual basic is a function that converts any value in the text box by, uh, dot text from string into integer so we have here the for statement for i equals 1 to n f equals f multiplied by i the f here is the factorial already uh, assignment statement and then we have here the message box that factorial is ampersand f to display the value and then vb information for the icon for information and then the title factorial so here we have already done with the click button for compute now for the clear button when we double click we have here the text box the text to clear any value and then text box 1 for set focus of the cursor so when we run the program and then we provide a value compute we can have 7 we can have factorial is 5040 okay when we click the clear button it will clear any value in the text box with yes so we have already done discussing about the compute button the next is the clear button already discussed and then lastly the quit so in the quit button we have here the button 3 underscore click if message box are you sure you want to quit VB yes or no you know plus vb question quit e equals vb yes then me dot close me refers to our form and then close it will close the program 
else if it is true we want to continue it will show it again clear the text box and then the text box one dot focus again so when we run the program once again and then we provide a value let's say six and then we click the compute button we can have the factorial is 720 I hope that you have learned something new in this video tutorial before we end I would like to say thank you very much for watching if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my new uploaded video in my youtube channel and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials this is your friend from Bacolod City Negros Occidental Philippines Jake Rodriguez Pomperada says until to the next video tutorial bye bye for now